welcome back to crazy k aussies uh, a couple days ago i did a video showing you my puppy pen setup i talked about doing ens which stands for early neurological stimulation with the puppies and i promised you a video about what that all involves so i'm not going to do every puppy on this video but i want to do a couple of them and kind of show you what we do uh, pardon the setup. I'm trying to get the best angle to show the puppy and it's turning out to be a challenge, but let's do the best we can. Okay. The first puppy I have here is Snoopy. He's a little blue Merle male, cute as can be. And I'll kind of go through the steps with him first. First thing I do is I weigh them. I've got a little workbook here that I write down their weight. And then I can see if there's any issues with gaining or losing weight because we never want a puppy to lose weight. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I have a Q-tip here. And I'm just going to rub it on his paw for about five seconds. And each night I change paws, but then I do the same paw on every pup tonight. And now I'm going to sit him up with his head up. That makes the blood run out of his head, but I only do it for about five seconds. And they don't like this, but then I turn them with their head down for about five seconds. And then I put them on their backs for approximately five seconds. He's not liking this, but they on their backs, they are starting to really calm down. Then the last thing that I do for approximately five seconds, is so right here I've got a wash rag that's been soaked in really cold water. I've actually got the ice water right there. I didn't want to talk while he was there because I'd lose count. Um, what this does is it gets their bodies used to small changes and it helps them start to adapt and learn how to handle stress. It's just a few seconds of stress and then a recovery. And so that's where we're stimulating the neurological system. Henceforth, we call it ENS. So let me grab another puppy. I'll go through one more with you. Okay, next up is Spike. He's another little blue merle male. And he's got the cutest little face with a stripe. He already has a new home. He'll be going to Connecticut in early March. And they're super excited to get him. And I'm excited for him. So let me go through the process with him. My scale turned off because I spent too much time. Let me turn it back on. I put him on this paper plate. So that then I can throw the plate away and start with a clean one. So let's just weigh him. Pretty soon they'll be too big for this scale. They grow fast. He's 31.7 ounces. Let me write that in the book. And then the Q-tip, and tonight I'm doing the left front paw. And then the head up so that the blood can kind of leave the head. And then the part they don't like is the head down. and then on their backs. When I'm not videotaping this, I usually put them up against me when they're on their backs. But a little bit of stress is good for their system as long as they, it's a very short period of time, and then they get the recovery. And the wash rag helps a little bit of a change in a body temperature, and that's the purpose of doing that. And Spike is all done, so he can go back with his brothers and sisters now. Okay, I'm not going to bore you by showing you the other five pups. I'll get those done tonight. But that's what I do every night from day 3 to 16, unless there's some other kind of stress. So, for instance, the day they got their tails and dew claws done, we didn't do any ENS that day because it was enough stress for that day. So that's how it kind of goes. Some of the next things that will come with this litter is we start looking for a startle response. 
and it'll be really interesting when some of these things start happening. Pretty soon their eyes are going to start opening and I'm really excited to see that. So I'll take you along the journey as we progress with this litter. Don't forget to subscribe down below.